Hmm. Henry, it's not good to go to bed in a bad mood. Yes, Mum. Henry, are you listening to me? What? Oh, uh, yes, Mum. Mum, can you switch up my light for me? Coming, Peter. Henry, bedtime now. Manners are getting worse. <sighs> Bye, Mum. Aren't you going to wait for Henry? You're going to be late. <laughs> You can join us today. Ooh, are you feeling quite yourself, Henry? Mom, I'm home. Hello, sweetie fun. Did you have a good day at school? Oh, yes, Mum. I got my 160th gold star. Special spa day. Feel pampered and looked after with our easy guide to doing it yourself. Doing it yourself? How is that easy? Oh, my very own special spa day. I can't wait. Oh, look at the state of this kitchen. I really ought to tidy it up first. Maybe you could give me a hand, Henry. No! Uh, I mean, uh, sounds like you need to relax right now, Mum. No way am I tidying up the kitchen. Oh, you're right, Henry. I need a little me time. So what's first? A relaxing bubble bath, it says here. Oh, lovely. Step one, run the bath. Step two, add some bubbly stuff. Hmm. Step three, lie back and relax in your very own jack... Jacka... Jacka... Mum, what's a ja... A jacuzzi? A jacuzzi, a bath which blows bubbles. Oh, that sounds cool. Bubbles. I need something that can blow bubbles. Ah, come on, Winky the Whale. You've got a job to do. To shout, Henry. Your jackacuzzi awaits. Why, thank you, Henry. Ah! This bath is freezing cold. Smell 
smells like washing up liquid. And what's this doing in my bath? Where's Winky the whale? He's being a ja jacuzzi. The word is jacuzzi, Henry. Jacuzzi. And Winky the whale is not a jacuzzi. I'm going to tidy up the kitchen. He'll never forgive me if I don't give Mum a special spa day. Even worse, he might ask me for his ten pounds back. Oh, Henry, what are you doing there? Getting ready for your next treatment, of course. I'm warning you, Henry, I haven't got time for your jokes. Lie back and relax with a relaxing massage. Oh, a massage. How lovely. Are you sure you know what you're doing, Henry? Just relax, Mum. Henry, what are you doing? I'm creating an atmos... an atmos... an atmos... An atmosphere? That's it. It says here, create an atmos... prefer with candles. Well, I'm using my torch instead. Well, that's something. Oh, and soothing music. That is not soothing music. <laughs> Sorry, wrong CD. Oh, that's better. Hmm. Oh, feeling much more relaxed now. Then prepare to be massaged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Feeling very relaxed now. about brushing your teeth if you don't want to. Yours disappointedly, Henry. <sighs> Who was your biggest fan? To perform? Of course, we're going to be ready to perform. Otherwise, my name's not Margaret Millicent Mordia Smythe. Is it? No. Now, take five while I warm up. Again. La 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 la. Hang on a minute. That looks like Henry's writing. Yeah, Ed Banger, mean, horrible parents. I have to stay in every night to do my homework. <laughs> I don't think so, Margaret Millicent Mordita Smythe. Time to pack up, boys. Hey? We're out of here. Got to post a letter for Henry. You what? to help you with your homework. Yeah, yeah, Keep yeah. on rocking. P.S. Yeah, I do have to brush my teeth. Otherwise, my mum nags me something rotten. <laughs> Even Ed Banger has to brush his teeth. Cool. Good afternoon. Um, we're the Zero Zombies. And we're here to celebrate my granddad's birthday. Oh, One, two, three, four. Wait! Oi! Where do you think you're going? To sing with the Zero Zombies. No way, Henry. I'm the lead singer with the Zero Zombies now. Oh, let me through. Henry, you made it. Told you I wouldn't let you down. What you got there, Henry? Rockstar's homework. Just follow me for the changes.
Can anyone tell me what music is an expression of? Music is an expression of who we are. That's right, Brian. Now, I want each of you to pick up the instrument in front of you. Silence! Double detention after school has finished! One at a time. Susan, you first. What is it, boy? There's something wrong with my tuba, sir. It is not letting me express myself properly. Hmm. Maybe you're not blowing hard enough. I think it's blocked. I can't see anything. <sighs> you're right, sir. I wasn't blowing hard enough. You horrid boy! I was just expressing myself, sir. Head mistress's office now! Keep playing! Something, Henry. Peter? Hello, Henry. I'm the school messenger today. I've got to deliver all the posts to all the teachers. Here's the tray of post, Peter. Now, do you know what you need to do? Oh, yes, Miss Lovely. Peter, congratulations. Being school messenger is an important job. I'm sure you'll do it splendidly. This is for Mr Nerdon. Thank you, Miss Oddboard. Miss Lovely, uh, may I have a moment of your time? Ah, oh, Henry, why am I not surprised to see you? I'll deal with you in a moment. Peter? You may return to class. So, when do you have to deliver everything in that tray? Um, just before lunch. Ooh, I'm going to be the best school messenger ever. Just before lunch, eh? Perfect. It's so easy being me. I'm Droopy pants. And what's that? It's my new plant. Woohoo! Miss Lovely gave it to me. Why? We're making our plants grow up to be happy plants by playing music and singing to them. <laughs> what's that for? Feeding time. Growing plants need to be fed regularly. So what are you feeding it? I have some very nutritious plant food. <laughs> but what if it wants a sandwich? I'm not reading you poetry. Hey, would you like to see the latest issue of Kung Fu Cockroach? Want one? Ah, we need music. Time. <gasps> what are you doing? I think your plant likes me. Of course it does. You've got the same IQ. Get lost, party features. Oh, look. Henry's finally got a friend. Just a pity it's a vegetable. <laughs> Actually, it's not a vegetable. Its Latin name is... Oh, up early, boys. Henry, housework today, remember? The Hoover won't run itself. <gasps> he doesn't write poetry. He? <sighs> if I had a plant, I'd teach it to eat rubbish so I'd never have to clean up ever again. Did you ring the bell? Brilliant! Wait here a minute.
Wow! That plant can move by itself. Henry! You can't have finished already. All right, all right. Oh, this is exhausting. Yay, finished! Oh, time for a little rest. <sighs> oh, stupid Peter and his stupid plant waking me up so early. <sighs> It's for me! We've come to see your plant. How's it doing? Ta-da! Ooh, it's lovely! How do you get it to grow so big? Regular nutritious food. And I've been reading it poetry. Ooh, yes! It especially likes sardines. It's so easy being me. I'm And at the end of this lesson, I will be collecting your posters. The winning poster will be announced at the fancy dress party tomorrow night. Oh, oh, uh, uh, what's the prize, miss? No prizes. No prizes? Some things we do for honour, Henry. The honour of attending our school. Ha! This school's more like a prison. Right, class. Please roll up your posters. Margaret and Susan will collect them. There. All finished. <laughs> That's rude. Is it? Oh, thank you, Henry. Miss Battleaxe is going to love this. Give me that back. <laughs> as if. Yeah, as if. Thank you both. Please go with Miss Lovely to Miss Oddboard's office. Yes, Miss! Phew, that was close. Miss Battleaxe would have gone mad. Yeah, now Miss Oddbot can go mad instead. Uh-oh, you're right. What are you going as, Al? Oh, a ballerina. Well. Wow. What do you think Miss Oddbot will do? Who knows? We don't even know where the posters are. We've got a bit of time to find out. Time to find out what? Where the posters are. Ralph! Oh, sorry. <laughs> You'll be sorry, Henry. Yes, yeah, sorry, Henry. Go away, Margaret. We don't need you. Um, I think you do. What makes you think that? Cos I know where the posters are and I have a plan. She might, you know. OK, Margaret. What's the deal? Yeah, the deal. Oh, be quiet, Susan. This is woman's work. Now, listen. The posters will be taken out of the safe tomorrow night at the fancy dress party so that they can choose a winner. That's when we'll strike. And we're going to need some help. Does this party last? Cool girl, Henry! <gasps> You're late! Peter had to change costume five times. <gasps> Everyone's in position. Such a nice turnout, don't you think? Bert's on alert. And Ralph is ready. Command you. Eat perfect pizza. Oh, there you are, Henry. Uh, yes. 
Yes? Who are you talking to? Your plant! It's eaten Margaret and now it's going to eat you! My plant? <laughs> you are funny, Henry. Plants don't eat people. I must be dreaming. Ah, oh, feeding time. <laughs> I'm off to watch TV. There you are, little planty wanty. Lovely, nutritious food. What a silly Billy! Eating people? I blame the television programmes he watches. But you've just been fed. Eat radioactive fist, miscreant! Taste the full force of my radioactive bile! Monster! Yeah! Get him, you Shabbat! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> I have one final surprise for you! You plotted your last plot, Dr. Fowl. Get ready for my Furp of Doom! But what's this lurking behind, Mutant Max? What dreadful horror has Dr. Fowl cooked up this time? Mutant Max primes his gauntlets of goo, unsuspecting as the evil horror creeps up behind him. Closer, and closer, and closer. Look behind you, Mutant Max! Behind you! Could this be the end of Mutant Max? Oh, that's stupid! There's no way Max wouldn't have seen that! Stop like Mutant Max! You never That's not my stomach! Present Henry. You did? Yes. I've bought you. Ta da! A plant of your own. No! It's so easy being me. I'm home. 